Following on from last time, where we took double strokes, we've built that into a continuous motion in either hand. You may have been since uh, working up the speed of that in either hand, which is great. Um, now let's take those same motions and build the four stroke roll, a cornerstone of drum technique. So let's start with an, a non-accented double and follow it with an accented double in the opposite hand. Then we're gonna put those together to produce the four stroke roll. But to make sure the hands are working properly, remove the accent. Change hands. Etc. Work it up. Both hands all around the set. Break up the doubles if you want. Play it on brushes, it's great. So look at other ways you can apply this in your playing. Think of a shuffle. Oh, there it is, the same motion. What about some setup strokes? Ah. Lots of four stroke action happening there with some uh, accents. Get creative with it. Let's look at how we can really use three strokes next time to up our playing game and some unexpected benefits that this separating and putting together of strokes brings to the set. See ya.